The Keyhawks of Lansing and New Albany uh, defeated uh, Central Ocator last night uh, or last week, 64 to 2 uh, in the final district game of the season for them. Recapping that game with head coach Chad Winters and uh, Chad looking at the stat sheet from that game. Uh, looks like a case of just going out and uh, doing what you needed to do last Friday night. Is that a fair way to put it? That, that is a fair way to put it. We. We liked how they came out against West Central, the intensity, the emotion that they played with. Um, got out to a great start, kind of put that challenge in front of them to do the same thing again, again Friday night against Al and uh, Dalton took the opening kickoff back for a touchdown and kind of set the tone for the entire game um, in that. And that's, that's just a great way to start the game, and we just kind of rolled from there. And defensively, uh, you held them at just uh, two points, so uh, the defense didn't give up any scores, and you forced five turnovers. How were you were able? How were you able to do that? Uh, good week of practice. Good, good prep. Um, everybody was prepared. Uh, the young guys did a real good job of of paying attention uh, to how they run things to give us a good look. And in the process, when they when they ended up in the game. Um, they kind of knew what was going on based off their formations and and what they had ran in practice. And they, and they did a pretty good job of carrying that over. Um, just had one hiccup on a, on a situation where we ended up punting deep in our own territory, snapped it over the punter's head and ended up just falling and not falling on it in the end zone. So you, you can live with that. Give up two instead of six. And uh, having a game like last week, uh, this deep into the season when you can get uh, pretty much every kid into uh, the lineup, uh, I'd imagine that's a positive, correct? Yes, yes, most definitely. Um, unfortunately, we've had to cut short our JV season with some some injuries. We're we're a little short in in certain position groups, uh, so it, it it's kind of difficult to put a kid on a field in a JV game on Monday or Tuesday night when when you know he's got to turn around and play a bunch of snaps for us on on Friday night. Um, just not just not fair to that kid uh, to ask him to consistently do that. So. It, Last two weeks, those guys have been able to get quite a few snaps in in the second half, which is great for them to get that real-time varsity experience. Um, just their growth at, at that stage is incredible at that at that rate. And looking at where you're at uh, heading into this week, you have a non-district game this week, and obviously you haven't clinched a playoff berth yet. Is this kind of a unique, uh, kind of an unusual situation knowing the fact that uh, no matter what you do uh, this week, uh, it's other teams that will determine the district race uh, for you? Actually, when you when you crunch the numbers, as long as we crunch them right, um, we we are in um, with, okay. the, with, the, with the first tiebreaker scenario in, in the situation being number of district losses. Um, with us having two district losses, there's, there's only um, – a couple other districts that can do that. And, and one of them would take a pretty big upset for that to happen. And our point differential would be higher than either of those teams already. Um, so if our math, if our math is correct, uh, uh, we, we should be in, but have, having a non-district game week, week eight, last game of the season, it is a little bit weird. Um, do you, do you take the approach of making sure your kids stay healthy? Do you take the approach of making sure that we're firing on all cylinders, making sure that we're, we're playing a good football against a good football team in, in Edco um, since we haven't had to, uh, had to play varsity starters for the entire game the last couple of weeks. And those are all, all conversations that we've kind of had, had it with our staff this week. Um, and, and honestly, we have, we have an idea of what we're going to do. Um, just kind of see how the game plays out. Weather is going to play play a role in it by the looks of it too. Uh, Northeast Iowa looks a little wet on on Friday night, unfortunately. And I've never been uh, let down by Chad Winter's math, just to let you know. <laughs> well, I'm glad you haven't been. Uh, a couple of my high school math teachers might have been at one point. <laughs> So, and you mentioned Edco, uh, your opponent. Uh, they're a five and two team, just like yourself, coming to town uh, this uh, Friday night. Looking at them on film, what uh, impresses you the most? They're big and physical. Uh, we we played them last couple years. Uh, they have had an injury at quarterback. Rochford kid uh, ended up in a boot. Uh, does doesn't sound like very promising for him to continue playing in the season, but they've had a sophomore kid, uh, Ingalls kid step in and, 
and play really well for him. Uh, has ran the ball very efficiently. Said, oh, uh, I think we've figured like 120 carries in the last four games or, or four or five games. So he, he's chucked the rock, um, run the rock. Uh, he, he kind of filled in and, and does a real good job. Um, quick kid, threat to take at the distance at any time. And he's got a fullback that's usually in the backfield next to him that's that runs extremely hard, pretty big boy. All right, uh, Chad, uh, hopefully you can end the season in the right way and uh, step into the playoffs next week as uh, healthy as you can be. Uh, keep your kids healthy this Friday night. We wish best of luck against good Edco team. Thanks so much. Chad uh, Winters, head coach of the Key Hawks of Lansing and New Albany, Key High and Edco to round out the regular season Friday night.